The date was June 30th, 1992. Your boy Rich was about 10 years old, just really learning about this whole NBA basketball thing. One man, <clears throat> one man wanted to make sure that he defended his first ever NBA title. And can y'all guess what shoes he was rocking? Can you guess? Well, if you don't know, I'm going to show you. Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. And this is another episode of Rich's Kicks. Uh, today, I want to do an MJ Monday flashback video for y'all. Once again, I haven't did one in a few weeks. Been a little busy, man. But without further ado, let's go on and get into these kicks. Like I said, the year was 1992. Uh, Michael Jordan was defending his first ever NBA championship. And, this, and then this year, he was playing against, uh, he won the first one against the Lakers. In 1992, he was playing against the Portland Trail Blazers, man. Clyde the Glide and them. You know what I'm saying? But um, a lot of people call this shoe, this is the new nickname. And I've been, I've, I've fallen victim to this new nickname. I've called this shoe this before, but no more because I feel like the nostalgic factor of these shoes for me comes, comes from this game, this one game MJ played. And we call this game the Shrug Game. So before I get into it, I want to show y'all the shoe known to y'all, or most of y'all, as the Air Jordan 7 Raptor. Known to me as the Air Jordan 7 Shrug Game action. I'm going to get into why I'm calling these the Shrug Game. Most of y'all uh, NBA 90s heads might already know what I'm talking about. Without further ado, I, I usually have them in my, in my shelves behind me, but I put them back in the box just for a little, I don't know, unboxing um, effect or whatever, but anyway, the Air Jordan 7 Retro is the official name, and the official colorway is black, dark, charcoal, and club purple, and at the time when they released in 2012, this is a 2012 pair, they released at a price point of $160, size 12 action, straight from Foot Locker, the Foot Locker over there in the south of Atlanta, uh, Marlboro, Georgia, South Lake Mall, I waited outside for about almost three hours to get this sneaker at the time just to see them restock them and be sitting on the shelves at Stonecrest Mall, which mall right up the street from me, a week later, as well as some uh, bread fours, both just bread, black and red, suede, playoff, whatever. They weren't even playoffs then. But anyway, some fours and these shoes right here were just sitting on the shelves. Anyway, bow, yes, sir. Air Jordan 7 Shrug Game is what I'm calling these, man. No more Raptors. The Raptors wasn't even thought about when MJ was first rocking these shoes, man. The Raptors were not even thought about. I guess that with that purple color on there, that's where they get that Raptor from. Like I said, if y'all want to still call them Raptors, you can. But me, I, and I probably won't get as many views on this video because I'm actually going to label the video um, Air Jordan 7 Shrug Game. But it's all good because I'm trying to teach. I'm trying to teach a little history, man. Anyway, this shoe right here was a very iconic shoe. And the reason I call them the Shrug Game, get that little hair off the bottom of that. I don't like that. Like I stepped in something, gone or something. Ugh, I don't like that. We'll talk about that after. We'll get into that after the video. Anyway, the Air Jordan 7 Shrug Games. The reason these are called the Shrug Games, or I call them the Shrug Game, is because MJ... He scored what? Game one of the 1992 NBA Finals. MJ scored 35 points in the first half, and he hit six three-pointers. And on that six three-pointer, and I'll probably put a picture up and show y'all exactly what I mean, but on that six three-pointer, he hit over what? Was it Cliff Robinson? No, if, I, if I'm, I'm Cliff Robinson, I think that's who he hit it over. He um he just he ran past the scores table. Uh, looking at a uh, magic couple of commentators, Magic Johnson and somebody else, and he just, he just, he just did the shrugs, man. As of to say, hey, it, it ain't me, you know. It's just, and he actually did say this on the interview. It ain't me. It's the moment. He was just so in the moment, man. He, he said he felt like the goal just looked like just like a big freaking swimming pool. He was throwing or something. He said like that that he was that he he's like he couldn't miss a shot. So he didn't end up scoring number thirty nine points in that game because most of the second half. The, the Blazers was already getting blown out, and they, they sat him on the bench to rest him for the next game, man. So, anyway, that's why I call these the Air Jordan 7 Shrug Game Action. For all the young bucks who didn't know about that, man. Hey, this is the Air Jordan 7 
shrug game. You got your flu games, which are the ones he won in, in um, 97 or 98, 97 championship against the Utah Jazz. Those are the flu games. This right here, my friends, is the Air Jordan 7 shrug game. No Raptor action, just shrug game, man. Anyway, um, I just wanted to show y'all this shoe again. You probably done seen it already. Very dope shoe in my opinion. As you know, if anybody watch my channel, you know this is the Air Jordan 7 is my favorite Jordan model. And this is up pretty high on the list of colorways, man. Dope colorway. Uh, should I do an on feet of these? Hmm. Should I do an on feet? Yeah, I think I will do an on feet. I know y'all probably might want to see these on feet. And um, some of y'all probably got these on feet today. MJ Monday action. So let me let y'all go on ahead and check these out on feet, man. Do it. Do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Air Jordan 7, Shrug Game, BKA, Raptor. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know what I stepped in. As y'all can tell, I rock these shoes, man. These shoes get a lot of wear out of me. <clears throat> they don't just sit in the box. <clears throat> Excuse me. They get out here and get worn, man. <clears throat> get your some action. Yes, sir. Cleansed. Even though I got a little creases, got a little suede action. They still cleansed in my opinion, just because they are what they are. Air Jordan 7 Retro Shrug Game, man. It's up. No walkway action today. Just want to do a little quick on feet for y'all. Get you some. Yes, up. Yeah, man. So that was the quick on feet of these Air Jordan 7 Shrug Game action, uh, aka Raptors. Y'all can call it if y'all want to. Um, had to come back in the house. A little warm out there. But um, yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I hope y'all uh, appreciate the fact that these these shoes are nostalgic to a lot of people, not just because they fresh or clean or whatever, or just because Jordans are popular, but because they have nostalgic factor to a lot of people who grew up around the time. And um, it's always good to learn about MJ, man. So I ain't trying to be an after school special or um, none of that, man. I just want y'all to learn about stuff, man. Sometimes it's good to have knowledge about some of these sneakers, man, and to make the shoes that much more special to rock, man. So anyway, without all that serious stuff, it's been your boy, Mike Reed. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, man. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I will show y'all the links uh, right after this video. And keep watching my videos, because you know that's what I'm here for. Gone.